Hello, welcome to Advanced Web Design. My name is Mr. Meyer, and I'll be the teacher for this class. Uh, at this point, your student should have had other classes in web design. And what our goal here is to just expand upon the knowledge learned in those classes and to apply it so we can get a little bit deeper meaning on the subject and some real world experience designing stuff for the internet. And uh, most importantly, uh, what I'd like to do is I'd like your student to have a stronger foundation in technology which can help them in future schooling as well as the job market. So some information about e-learning. One of the things you'll notice about this class is that I did not send any materials home. The reason for that is that everything we do will be posted in our learning management system, which is Google Classroom. Additionally, you should also have access as a parent to PowerSchool. That way you can check in on your students' grades. If you need help accessing either of those tools, please email me and I'll make sure that you get the help that you need. Some information about this course. Uh, by this time, your students should know my expectations to be, be respectful, do your work, and try your hardest. Uh, and additionally, to approach everything with an open mind. This class is going to involve a lot of independent work and a, little, a lot of independent projects. So uh, they should just make sure that they're logging into Google Classroom and completing all the stuff that they need. Um, and if they, for some reason, do need help, please contact me. I'll make sure they get the help that they need right away. Uh, in this one, we're going to study a lot of different things. Uh, we've already covered at this point some HTML and CSS and a little bit of Bootstrap and Photoshop. Uh, Bootstrap is a framework used to design websites on the internet. We're going to expand this one to include a little bit of JavaScript, as well as creating a blog for the school for using Google Blogger so they can manage an online blog. Uh, the software we'll use will be similar to the classes we've used before. We're going to use VS Code and Carrot to write the code. Carrot will be the Chromebook app. VS Code will be the app for everything else. Uh, we'll use Canva and Photoshop for image editing and uh, possibly some Quizlet and Kahoot for vocabulary down the line. Um, and this one, this course is really designed to expand and practice and apply the knowledge you've learned. And um, we will learn some new things, especially with JavaScript. I'll la layer those in a little bit at a time. It does get to be a little bit overwhelming. There's just so many different things to learn that doing it a little bit at a time, I think, is really the only way to do it. Um, and then we're going to focus very heavily in this class about applying the skills that you've learned so you can get deeper understanding of the material. So the format we're going to learn here, um, the general format is to introduce, then do the vocabulary and do practice. But we're going to focus super heavily on application here. Uh, we will do this, uh, we will do the introductory and practice for JavaScript, but this is primarily an application class. Uh, grading is the same as it always is. This is set by the school. 70% uh, will be the assessment projects you do, 10% will be the little homeworks, and then 20% uh, will be the final exam. And there will be, through the course of this, a lot of semester-long projects, stuff that we will assign at the beginning and you'll have to continue throughout the semester. So it, you have to be careful not to get behind on this in the beginning. That really is the only way that you can get in trouble. By this point, your student does know me and does know my, my expectations, and uh, they do know what it would cost if they get behind. So just make sure that this, your student stays on top of their, their daily work, and everything will be great. Uh, if you do have any questions, please do reach out, contact me. Uh, email is always the best, but you can call my office phone or my Google Voice line if you would like. And uh, look forward to meeting you at some time in the future.